Good morning, everyone. My name is Candy Foster from Your Health Candy. I am a health coach, personal chef, and doTERRA wellness ad advocate. I also am a certified mindfulness meditation instructor and a Reiki master. Um, so I've had, you may have seen me on my other series, um, cooking with doTERRA essential oils. So today we're just starting off a new little series. We're still going to do the cooking with oils, um, but I'm really, really passionate about my meditation and what it has done for me and my mindset in life and my progress in life. So I'm going to start a new meditating with doTERRA essential oils, and I'm really excited about that. So um, first of all, I, I only use doTERRA essential oils because I can trust doTERRA to always have um, their certified pure therapeutic grade quality, which means there's nothing added to our oils, there's nothing taken away. Um, so you can always trust that they're gonna be helping you and not hindering you. So today we're working with Arborvitae, um, which is a really great oil for meditation. It's really, it's a wood, it comes from the wood pulp, it's, steam distilled from the wood pulp of the arborvitae tree um, that arborvitae is referred to as the tree of life um, probably because it lives for over 800 years isn't that crazy um, but so this is going to be a very grounding oil anything tree related is going to be very grounding um, so that will help us to get settled into our meditation quicker and get to where our goal is for our meditations so and the best way for meditating it's going to help us get there remain calm um, best way to use it is to diffuse it like I am here or you can just add a drop to your hands and inhale from there You can just imagine you're in the forest with it. All right. So to get started, let's just find a nice, comfortable position with a straight spine. And that can be sitting um, in a meditative, you know, cross-legged. It can be sitting in a chair. Um, it can be lying down. Spi straight spine so that everything flows nicely up and down. And um, just start to you can close your eyes you don't have to whatever makes you feel more common in your space um, so we're going to start with a few deep breaths deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth in through the nose and out through the mouth and one more time All right, now let's just return to a more normal, natural breath. In through the nose and out through the nose. And as you continue to breathe, notice the feeling of that fresh air coming in through the nostrils. and the warmer air coming back out. Visualize with every inhalation, taking in new fresh energy, new good vibrations, and with every exhalation, releasing any tension, anxiety, stress, blocks, anything that's not serving you now. Continue to focus on that as you naturally breathe. Now, if you notice your mind has started to wander, that's okay. Just 
remind yourself that you can go back to that later. Just like, take a note. We'll come back there later. Right now's my time. Now, as we continue to breathe, let's bring our attention to the top of the head. Are we feeling any tension or stress? Uh, just kind of loosen everything. If you have to wiggle and jiggle and make everything feel good, let it go. Moving down to the rest of the head. Think about around your mouth and nose, around your ears. Are you grinding your teeth? Are you clenched? Is your jaw clenched? Just try to release that. Let it go. Now with your next inhalation, breathe in deep until you get, get behind that thing back here. You know what I'm talking about? That thing that, see if you can get behind it and push it out. Now let's move down to the neck and shoulders. Maybe roll your shoulders back and down a little bit. And soften them. Let anything hang in there, any tension, tightness go. Push it out with the next exhalation. Now moving down to the torso. What do you feel here? Do you have tension in your chest? Is your stomach upset? Is your back tight? Your shoulders? Try to loosen all that up and soften those muscles. And if you feel like you can't, maybe tighten everything up. And then loosen them, let them go. Visualize everything soft, comfortable, relaxed. Continue to breathe. Now, come down to the hips and thighs. How do we feel there, lower back? Often, especially women, we tend to carry a lot of our tension in our lower back and hips. So if we just consciously release that, try to soften and relax. Oftentimes we don't even know when we're tensing muscles. Feel more of that tension releasing with each exhalation. Now, 
let's bring our attention down to the knees, calves, and shins. What do we feel there? Do we have pain, tension in our knees? Are our calves tight? Make note of any sensations you have in this area. And release. Let your breath take it away. And now move down to the ankles, feet, your tops of your feet, soles arch of your feet and your toes. Do they hurt? Are they tight? Believe it or not, we can hold a lot of tension at our feet. Release those stagnant energies and sensations. Let them go. Now let's go back to the top of the head and just imagine this clean, fresh energy flowing down from the head, down through the body, just gradually taking out any of those remaining sensations that might be lingering. Feel them just flowing down through the body, down through the torso, and the legs, down through the calves and the feet. And just imagine it all flowing right out through your toes. Now notice, notice the effects of gravity on your body. Wherever you're sitting or lying, notice the sturdiness of whatever it is that you're on, holding you, making you safe, and grounding you. Setting you up strong and steadfast for the rest of your day, ready to take on the world. Take a deep breath in and let it go. Start to come back, wiggle your fingers and toes, and open your eyes when you're ready. I hope this meditation helped you, maybe calm, get you started at the beginning of the day, or maybe calm down and release some stuff at the end of the day. Um, I hope to see you again next week. Um, if you like this video, uh, Feel free to like and subscribe. I'm always open to suggestions and comments. I love to talk to my viewers, so please leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And I look forward to seeing you next week. Namaste.